Doesn't matter whether you are a developer, a hacker, or anything in IT, GitHub is used by everyone. It helps you to host your code and collaborate with others around the world. And has built-in VS Code, allows you to edit your code directly from your browser and keep track of everything you do with your code. So in this video, I will walk you through every single step to set up a GitHub account, creating a repo, and setting it up by command line. Getting started with setting up a GitHub account. So just open your browser and go to github.com click on sign up enter your email create your password enter a username which must be unique solve the puzzle and create account now go to your mail inbox click on mail received from github copy the code and paste it now answer these questions or just scroll down and skip personalization and done, we successfully created a GitHub account. Now, time to create a repo. So just click here, give a name to it. For now, ignore these things, just click on create. And our repo is created. Now, you can directly edit your files here as GitHub has inbuilt VS Code. Just press create key on your keyboard and you will be now in VS Code. Or you can even change .com to .dev in URL that will also prompt you to the VS Code. After editing your files, just click here, enter a commit message, then just click on commit and push. That's it. Here is our new file. But, if you like CLI, like me, then just go and download git according to your machine. But if you are on Linux, you can directly install it with the package manager. It comes pre-installed in almost all Linux distros, even on Tumbox. Once you install it, just create a directory and cd to it. Now here, we need to tell our name and email to git. So execute following to tell your name. git config dash dash global user dot name and your name. Same for email. git config dash dash global user dot email and your email. Now just go to the browser and copy the commands given by github and paste it in terminal. Enter your username and for password, again go to browser, click on this little icon and go to settings, scroll down and click on developer settings, personal access token, classic and generate new token, classic token. Any name to it, set expiration limit or no limit and then select all the scopes and finally generate token. Keep this in mind, then just copy your token and paste it. And done. Now if we go to our repo, here is our new file. Now if you want to create a new file, then just create it, then add it using git add and the file name. Or you can just put dot which will add all the files in your current directory. Then just commit it, git commit dash m followed by the message. And finally push it, git push. Enter the username, your access token and that's it. Here is the file we created. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.